won um, you won the live shoeing. Uh, won, won the live shoeing and won your belt. The first belt buckle was it your first belt buckle you've won or you won some others? No, I'm a bronc rider. So okay. uh, I've got a few buckles. Yeah, you probably but do. First one in the shoeing. First one in the shoeing. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Right. And um, it's kind of funny because I was wasn't intending to uh, get in the competition tomorrow, mm -hmm. and a bunch of friends kind of pushed me to do it. So I'm real glad I did. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, yeah, we were at the banquet last night, and uh, Nate uh, donated a pair of uh, really fine spurs that he made, and these are something he kind of does. And we're going to take a little look at those, and maybe uh, maybe talk about how you, when you started doing these and how you do them a little bit. Uh, so go ahead. I started making spurs in college, actually. Um, I saw a guy, actually a bronc rider, wearing them, and uh, I'm like, oh, man, that'd be real cool. So I wanted to make myself a pair, and uh, you know. It, I get people that are like, oh, man, those are so cool. So I started making making spurs, and uh, every year they just get better and better. And uh, so these are some that you've made, and uh, have quite a nice display. And these are are they all made from rasps, or is that? Uh... Uh, all of them were made from rasps. Yeah, some of them have a, a rasp shank, and some of them have just a smooth steel shank. Uh, but uh, that, that's kind of what I like to do. Right? my grass that I use in the summertime and then when I'm not so busy uh, shooting horses in the wintertime I make spurs. And how long does it take you to make one pair of spurs? Um, a day and a half to day two days okay. is what it takes me. Uh, in the wintertime you lose about 80% uh, like of your business. Um, mm -hmm. I'm in the real mountain area mm -hmm. and people just pull and trim and leave their horses beat for the winter. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have to find different ways of making money. Mm -hmm. um, so I gotta diversify a little bit. So that's that's kind of what I do to mm -hmm. uh, supplement mm -hmm. uh, some income in the winter time. Uh, I've been shooting full time for six years and then off and on before that for six years. Okay. All right. And um, you mentioned that you're up in the mountains and everything. Is there anything particularly challenging about uh, working with horses up in that area? Um, a lot of irrigation. Mm -hmm. uh, so feet tend to expand, contract like a sponge. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if, if you shoot a horse when their feet are real wet, uh, your clinches are real wide and then their feet dry up and they shrink. So that's that's quite a challenge in, in the mud and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. so.